Hey guys, Robbie Webster here, and today, obviously, this is a very different setup. I actually have most of my stuff packed away in the new place, and I don't know, this is just the easiest way for me to film an update. I really just want to get this update finished before the move. It won't be uploaded until probably well after I move. So, you guys might even see some videos with the new house before I actually upload this video. So, anyways, let's get started. Um, this shouldn't be too long. The first thing I have here is the help and this is one that it was nominated for a bunch of academy awards around the award time and i wanted to get it when it came out but it was always thirty dollars so i was like wow that's expensive and i never saw it go down and finally i saw it go down to 20 and i had well i used one of the five dollar off trade and save things for this so yeah i finally able to get it so yeah this is a good movie uh about uh women in um mississippi and they're, they're hired help basically. And it's just about the, the things that, the way that they were mistreated by their their employers. They're basically almost like slaves because they were very low paid jobs, like almost made nothing. And they were treated like they were, didn't even have the rights to make their own decisions. Like they were treated like they were the property of, uh, of the women that they worked for. So they get together with this young author who is trying to um, write a book about their like their experiences and what they've gone through. So that's what this movie's about. Very good movie, I really enjoyed it. And the next movie I have here, this is a French film uh, directed by Fritz Lang, and it's just an amazing thriller. It's uh, M. Night, Sh or I was about to say M. Night Shyamalan. It's M, the movie's called M, just one letter. And this is a really good film about a city that's under siege by this man who is uh, abducting abducting young kids and, and murdering them. He's a serial killer, so they're all scared. Everyone's just in fear. They're living in fear. They're afraid to let their kids go out. They are accusing each other of being the the killer, and so they're trying to just find out who this guy is, and just an absolutely phenomenal film, very well directed, and it looks beautiful on Blu-ray. I highly recommend getting this. All right, the next movie I have here, this is a movie uh, It's called Courageous, and this is a movie that's kind of made for dads, and uh, I really enjoyed this film. Uh, I think anyone who's a father who's or who's going to be a father should watch this. Um, it's a Christian film, so it has a lot of our our ideals in it. So I know that that's not something for everyone. So I'm not trying to force that on you. I'm just telling you up front what it is and being honest. Uh, it's about these police officers and what they go through, and they're all fathers, and just it's just a great drama. It actually had me tearing up a whole bunch of times. I was not expecting it to be as good as it is because usually. Like Christian movies aren't really that good as far as a standalone movie, but I highly recommend this. Then the next thing I've got here, this is one of my favorite movies. I love it. It's The Count of Monte Cristo, and this is the 2002, I believe, is when it came out. I know that there's an older version, which I like a lot as well, but I actually prefer this one. It stars Jim Caviezel and Guy Pearce. This is a movie about love and friendship and betrayal and then revenge. So I uh, highly recommend this film. It, I, I can't really say much more about it. Just check it out. It's awesome. The next thing I have here is The Treasure of the Sierra Madre. And this stars Humphrey Bogart. Um, two homeless men meet up with an old prospector. And they decide that they're going to go out and try it. I think they, go to, I think they, they are in Mexico. They decide they're going to go out and uh, start mining for gold. And try to make a new life for themselves. And... Uh, Humphrey Bogart is absolutely phenomenal in this. His character transforms from a very likable, like, homeless man to just a psychotic person, just a crazy person. I uh, totally recommend this. Then the next one I have here is a movie starring Derek Luke and Denzel Washington. And this is actually the first film that Denzel Washington ever directed. I'm not sure what else he has directed, but um, or if he has even directed anything else. But this is very good about a young man who's in the Navy. And uh, he's dealing with a lot of things from his past that are causing him to have a lot of anger problems. So they send him to talk to this naval, uh, like, psychiatrist, basically. And he just tries to counsel the kid and help him deal with his issues. And he kind of deals with all the things in his past that cause him to have these anger problems. And just a very touching, heartwarming film. Definitely recommend it. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to power through this because my battery light's flashing already, which I don't understand. And it's really hot in here. Uh, the next one I have here is The Legend of the Fall, starring Brad Pitt and Anthony Hopkins. Highly recommend this. Anthony Hopkins was phenomenal. He deserved to be nominated for an Academy Award for this, but he wasn't. Um, this is an epic film. It takes place during the World War II times. Uh, 
these men that live in Montana on this big ranch, uh, the, they have, there's a man and his three young sons, and uh, then one of the boys, his fiance is there, and World War II breaks out, and um, two of the, uh, two of the men, just two of the boys decide they're going to go fight for England, and so they go over there, and, uh, well, actually, all three of them end up going over there, because Brad Pitt's character goes over there just basically to protect the other two. He doesn't really have any interest in fighting, he just doesn't want to let his brothers go there alone, so very good film it's very very touching film i highly recommend it next one i have here is a great movie starring natalie portman and hugo weaving it's v for vendetta and this is the blu-ray steelbook so you can see the back picture there and i really like this movie it's kind of ironic that this is in the same update as count of monte cristo because in the movie they actually talk about the, the original count of monte cristo film and that's actually v's favorite movie so great movie highly recommend it Next one I have here is The Natural. This is about a, a man who is just uh, an up and coming baseball prodigy and he gets attacked by this woman and he's shot and then he comes back to the game years later and uh, he ends up being like very good. He plays like, he plays just an uh, amazing season. And yeah, highly recommend this if you're a fan of baseball or if you're just a fan of good dramas. Next thing I have here since uh, the new Batman film just recently came out, I've been really getting back into all the Batman related stuff and uh by the way my friend um luke aka razor bar reviews did an amazing series about all of the batman stuff just reviews of anything relating to batman and they're just phenomenal and he's getting a really big response on his channel so that he just did an amazing job with it he totally deserves more views so definitely check that out but this is the animated se series from the early 90s i only have volume one and i think well this is volume one and this is volume three and I haven't been able to find the rest of them. Usually when I come across them, they're either really beat up or they're just too expensive. But I actually got this one for $15 and this one for $20. So that's a pretty good deal. And the next thing I have here is a movie that just recently was released on Blu-ray. It's Frequency, starring Dennis Quaid and Jim Caviezel. And this is a movie about a man, uh, the, the father and son. And um, the father dies in like the 60s, I believe and he's a firefighter and he's killed in a fire and his son he, he was in he was into um short what do they call those short wave radios something like that they're those radios that they talk to each other on and um there's like this this uh northern lights thing happening and like he's able to communicate with his fa father and son are able to communicate like through time so he that's what the movie's about and it, it's actually pretty good it's not bad at all they didn't do a very good job explaining that because I'm trying to go really fast. Uh, next thing I have here is 16 Blocks starring David Morris, Most Deaf, and Bruce Willis. And Most Deaf can act. He's a good actor. I think that he has a, a big career in, in front of him if he sticks with it. He's really good in this. He plays a witness who um, uh, is going to be testifying against some dirty cops. And Bruce Willis is assigned to transport him from the jail to the courthouse. And I guess they assigned Bruce Willis to do it because he's kind of like a deadbeat. He's kind of like really lazy and they think that he won't do a good job and that they'll be able to get the witness before he gets to the courthouse so that's what it's about he has to take him 16 blocks to safety and all these cops are trying to kill him and um so it's just crazy great thriller i love it i think it's really underrated next thing i have here is a great western film starring uh kevin costner and dennis quaid it's called wyatt earp it's all about the life of the real life wyatt earp and it's an absolutely amazing film i love it great western not absolutely amazing i'm saying that about every movie but it's good it's uh, it's pretty good and it, it's cool to learn that he actually was never shot I, be I believe he was never shot i think he was hit with like a ricochet or something but that's crazy for an old western gunslinger never to be shot and the next thing i have here is just another recent release i still have to get the first movie on blu-ray i haven't ever come across it for a good price but this is gremlins 2 and this sequel is not as good as the original, but it is fun. It's very crazy. All, all the different gremlins, the new gremlins, are just really crazy, wild characters. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I'm back. I actually had to switch cameras because the battery on the other one died. I just got to get this over with. Um, I think I was talking about this movie. Um, it, it's the Date Night with the Lenticular Slipcover. I was able to find this at Best Buy recently. So um, check your local Best Buy if you're looking for the slipcover because they might have it in stock. Um... So only a few more things here. Um, they're all DVDs. Uh, the first one is Phenomenon. 
uh, starring John Travolta. This is one that I just bought for two bucks. I thought, you know, I've never seen it, so let's give it a try. Actually, it wasn't too bad. It's kind of corny, but not too bad at all. It was entertaining. Uh, it's about a man who begins to get, he sees this light in the sky, and he begins to get all of these crazy powers, like telekinesis and stuff. He gets really smart, and uh, he starts to change a lot of things, and create all these crazy inventions, and I don't know, I thought it was pretty decent. And then the next one I got here, this is one I used to love a lot when I was a kid. It's Harry and the Hendersons, um, starring uh, John Lithgow, and it's about a family that comes across a, um, a Sasquatch, and the, the Sasquatch becomes part of the family, and uh, that's what the movie's about. It's a comedy, classic 80s film. I enjoy it. And then the last one I have here is a movie that's, you know, pretty, pretty cheesy and stupid, but... I always used to like it when I was young, when it first came out, and now I just see how dumb it is, but I still kind of like certain things about it. It's Volcano, starring Tommy Lee Jones. It's a movie about a volcano that erupts in the middle of Los Angeles, so that's all you really need to know. It's like a doomsday movie, so yeah, that's it guys. That's it for the, this update. That's the last update that you'll ever see in this apartment. Um, the next time that you see a video from me, hopefully it will be in a nice with a nice ba background and a nice new room, so yeah. Looking forward to uh, moving out of here and moving on to better things. Thanks for watching.